Oh, hi everybody. Okay, so before I go in to finish the matinee, the last show of the week, I'm gonna sit outside by the Catch the Wave Buffett Musical hashtag. Come see our show, we're a lot of fun. Anyways, I have to finish what I started and tell you the end of the regrettable Brothers Grimm story of Man of Iron. I regret not reading the whole thing through before I started telling it to you, because now I have to tell you the rest, and it's just terrible. So let's just get through this and not speak of it again. If you haven't seen the p first part of this, spare yourself, turn this video off, don't bother. Brothers Grimm, stupid. Man of Iron. When last we left our story, the little prince, whose hair is now of gold and is wrapped in a hat, has wandered off. He's been banished from the woods by the Man of Iron, and he's wandering the world. Why? Oh, okay, wait a second, but before we continue... What in gay hell is happening at the Marriott Marquis? I hope you win. Love your hair. That's not her hair. Anyway, banished. Why the little boy doesn't wander back to his own parents' kingdom is beyond me, but he wanders. Finds another kingdom, because the kingdoms back then are like Starbucks. They're around every corner. I need a job, says little boy. Okay, he becomes a, a, a assistant to the cook in the kitchen. One day he has to go up and serve food to the king. Hey, you're in front of the king, take that cap off. Oh, I cannot, my head has a disease, he says. King's like, what? Says to the cook, get rid of that kid. If he has a disease head, he can't be here. Banished. That's a thread that goes nowhere. Then he becomes a gardener's assistant at the kingdom. He's out there garden one day, he gets hot, he takes off his cap, his golden hair is glistening, it reflects in the mirror of the princess up in her room, she looks down and sees, what's that, who's that? Hey you down there golden head, bring me some flowers. He does. She says, show me that hair. He says, I cannot. She snatches his hat off and gives him some ducats. When she's like, I ain't taking her ducats, fuck it. He gives them to the gardener to give to his children. This happens three times, another thread that goes nowhere. Then there's a war. The kings, everybody's got to go to war with some other kingdom right down the block by Starbucks. And the boy's like, I want to go to war too. And they're like, you little thing, you can't go to war, but here's a lame horse. If you want to try to follow us, good luck to you. He takes the lame horse, rides off into the forest. Iron Man, Iron Man, he calls, because as Iron Man had promised, you need something, you call me, I'll give it to you. I need to go help in the battle. All right, not only are you gonna help, here's some fierce armor, here's a fierce horse, and here's an army. You're gonna go save the day, which he does. Before they can even thank him, he rides off again and becomes gardener boy. Who saved the day? The king says to his daughter, the princess, I'm gonna have a tournament for three days, and you're gonna throw a golden apple, and whoever catches it, I don't even know what, but that's what we're gonna do. Boy goes back to the forest. Iron Man, Iron Man, I need armor to go to the, to the tournament. All right, here's some fierce armor in red with a red horse. You're gonna go and you're gonna be the only person to catch the apple. He does, he rides up before they can find him. Day two, here he comes back in white armor on a white horse, catches the apple, rides away before anyone can see him. Day three, black horse, black armor, catches the apple. King's like, fuck this noise, go get him. They can't catch him, but they pierce him like with an, with an armor, for, they pierce him for a second, and his helmet flies off and the golden hair shows. They go back to the king and say, we couldn't get him, but they use this guy with golden hair. Princess goes, wait a minute, I've heard this one. Flash forward, somehow, he ends up before the king. Yeah, it was me the whole time. You saved the day. What do you want as a reward? I want your daughter's hand in marriage. She's like, oh, I knew you was royalty. She marries him. Suddenly his father, the king, and his mother show up for the wedding. And then the Iron Man shows up saying, I was a disguised king all the time and you freed me somehow from my bondage and now you can have all my wealth too. Ta-da. Does he still have golden hair? Anyone's guess. Does he still have a golden hand? We forgot about that pages ago. So go to sleep, there's your story. Ugh, so annoying. There are more pageant princesses walking around out here right now. I'm seeing make-believe hair. Lord. All right, enough is enough is enough. Have a lovely day and goodbye to you.